Greetings everybody, it's Base6286 back with more Final Fantasy IX. In this episode, we're going to take on the last of the Chaos Bosses, and apparently get into a random battle. Okay. So these guys are behemoths, we've seen them before, kind of. They're really annoying, I'm not going to bother fighting them because they like to have a they have a death counter which is meteor and yeah that's just gonna screw you over entirely especially if you're not at a super high level kind of like my party is right now I'm at a decent level but I'm not at the best level so I'm not even gonna mess with that just, just not even there's also stilvas in this area which are like these spidery things they can't really do a whole lot to you, so yeah. I'm not going to worry about removing blind, because it's not hindering me in any way right now. I'm just going to do that to Amaranth. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, oh, okay, go this way. Is there a thingy over here? I think there is. It looks like there is. Or there is not. Oh, there we go. Oh. This is another card dude if you want to fight him. I don't, so I'm not going to. God dang it. Ah, well, here's the Stilva. Crazy red spider thing. I guess I'll just kill it and you guys can see. Uh, while we're fighting this guy, I can note now for the next boss. Uh, I'd highly re recommend trying to have a party with levels that aren't divisible by five. Because um, the next boss is, well, I'll just say, if you can't guess, it's going to be Lich. And he's going to have death spells, one of which is a level five death. So, yeah, if your entire party has mul levels multiple of five, then he'll be able to own your entire party with one sweep. So that would be uncool. So, yeah, just kind of keep that in mind when going in... And preparing. I think I have maybe one character. I think Amaranth's like 55 or something, which might be kind of meh, but I'm not too worried about it. If you only have like one character or maybe two that have a level multiple of five, it's probably not that big of a deal. Three or four, though, uh, way too much. Uh, yeah, so just keep that in mind. Psh, what was that? Uh, let's Chakra Vivi. He's kind of low on health and MP. And maybe this will finish him? Maybe. Yeah. That seems to be the thing. Around three max damage hits is enough to, uh, or two and a half maybe, is enough to take out the, the enemies around this area. And yeah, looks like Amaranth's my only run, who is a multiple of five. So we should be okay. As long as I make sure he has auto life, for sure, we'll be good. But before we get to Lich, oh, we got a scene apparently. Jeez, that's one big fireball. Yeah, tell me about it. Could it be a moon? This is the birth of Gaia. That's Gaia? Over 5,000 years ago. What's above that ladder? See for yourself. <laughs> Terror reached the peak of its prosperity at this time. The people believed that their future was secure. Ultimately, that very hubris led to Terra's demise. Thus, I was created to deal with our plights. Hmm. Well, alright. Around this area, you can find... No. Not there. I thought... It... Oh, wait, no, no, it's not here. It's not here. We have one more ultimate weapon to collect, which happens to be Vivi's. And, oh, it's this area. Yeah. This octagonal area. Come over... Yeah, I knew it was on the left side. We get the Mace of Zeus, which is a pretty awesome name. Freaking Zeus. Although Zeus didn't really use much of a mace. You'd think this would teach you some kind of thunder ability, but no. It teaches you Doomsday, which we've seen this before. It's a move, um, I'm pretty sure Osma used it on us. It, it summons a giant meteor from the heavens, and uh, it inflicts shadow damage, pretty much max shadow damage on everything on screen, both enemies and you, so... It can be a really useful spell if you equipped your party with uh, shadow absorbing or nullifying stuff. I mean, and if you, if it's if you equip the entire party with shadow absorbing stuff, 
you can pretty much just cast it every turn and you're basically fully healing all everyone in your party and da while damaging your enemy simultaneously so that's pretty awesome but if you don't have absorbing stuff for shadow then it's just gonna screw you over all the time so that's dumb um, we equipped it we're not going to use it for this next boss though because he absorbs shadow damage so that would be bad uh, whoa, there's three doors. Which way do we take? Oh, I guess we take none of them. We get into a battle instead! And I kind of ruined the surprise already, but yeah, this is another of the Chaos boss Bosses, Lich. Which, ironic, well, I guess not that ironic, but I mean, he's actually the uh, first boss of the chaos bosses you fight in the Final Fantasy 1, but he is the last one we're fighting in this one, so that's a little bass awkward, I'd say. Um, either way, there we go, level 5 death, that means Amran's dead, that's fun. Let's Dragon's Quest, uh, I guess Vivi will be on revive duty for Amran here. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. And Phoenix down, Amran. Used it before he didn't even get it, or used it before he had the chance to collapse. Man, I'm just tripping over my words. I didn't think I was that clumsy, but apparently. And yeah, you guys are probably getting really bored of this, but we're gonna go with the same strategy. I've been going, we've been using this like since we fought Ozma. Just Dragon Crest, Reflected Flare, Thievery, Aura. Yeah, I mean. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, it's a pretty decent strategy, it works well. And let's see, Doom. So that's gonna inflict it. This is kind of like Gradual Petrify. I'm not sure if we've seen this yet or not, but basically, there's a counter, when it gets down to zero, VB dies. That's simple as that. So let's see if we can beat this guy before that happens. Probably not, but maybe so. Uh, the Genji gloves were the thing we were looking for. So we got that, we're good to go. We can just wail on this guy now. Uh, we can also put up an aura on Vivri, Vivri, <laughs> on Vivi. If he does die from the Doom spell, uh, aura will just revive him automatically. So that's another way of countering it. Or he could use Earthshake and run the timer out before we get a chance to use it. That's that's great too. Oh man. Oh, Sidon went into trance. Well, looky there. <laughs> great, Sidon. You going through a trance? Essentially killed Vivi. How fantastic. <sighs> and Vivi's just standing there with no life. Oh, what's he? Oh! Earthshaker. Huh? I'm not sure if he'll actually get hit by this. Because it looks like he's kind of floating. He might, though. But he might heal him. Yeah, it healed him. I should have removed Magic Element and all from Vivi. It's not doing any good at all. Oh, well. Uh, let's see, this will take up some time. At least Amrit will be able to gain back some health while Thievery is going off. Not a lot, but something. Uh, who's he going to use Aura on? Hopefully Zaiden? Or he just casts on Vivi and it did nothing. Um, eh, whatever. Grand Lethal, go. Oh, I just realized Zaiden was like, he was in trance, but he still used a non-trance skill. That's kind of cool. I mean, it would make sense that he would use the attack that you told him to, but, like, when he goes into trance, the, the thievery... Excuse me. The thievery command turns into the grand lethal command. Oh, great. Oh, wait. This isn't going to heal him. Never mind. Uh, yep. Dragon's Crest. He is guarded by death. Or from death, rather. Or maybe by death? Maybe death actually guards Lich. I don't know. It's really weird... He's a earth element, but he's kind of undead too. So, although uh, I guess I could try it. I'm pretty sure this guy is not susceptible to the Phoenix Down trick, but I mean, you could try it if you want. I'm pretty sure he isn't though. I don't think it does anything. Although we might kill him before I get the chance to find out the way this is going. Uh, let's have Vivi use a Phoenix Down, just just for shits and giggles. Uh, flare. No, not curse. Uh, there. That. Oh, you've got stop in your arsenal. Note to people watching this. Lich can cast stop. That can get annoying. So, you might want to have, like, locomotion or something on. <laughs> Apparently, it doesn't matter, though, because Zidane's just going to kill him with a grand lethal, and we're done. 
I, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed this, but I don't know, to me at least, Zaiden looks more like the Genomes when he's in trance than otherwise. Maybe it's just because he doesn't have all of his fancy clothes and whatnot. Uh, oh, we're still good. Alright. Let's go forward then. Whoa! There's nothing. Hmm. Is this it? Is there nothing else? This is space. The final frontier. Space. Your journey is not over. Do not fear. Step forward and you will be closer to the truth. Go, Zaiden. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. Huh. That's interesting. We were just talking about this in philosophy, that uh, in order to reach truth, you have to not have fear of the unknown. Anyways, this is a really weird area. You kind of just float around and you just push up on the control stick and you'll eventually reach where you need to go. You have entered a new realm. There are no more worlds. There is no more space. Follow your memory, your original memory, and march forth. Garland, what exactly is our memory? Why can I remember other people's experiences and events that happened before my time? Hmm. Silent treatment, eh? Garland, please, tell me! Do not limit memory to just one individual's experiences from birth. That is only the surface. Every life born into this world, whether natural or artificial, requires a parent. And that parent also requires a parent. Life is connected one to another. If you trace the root of all life, there exists one source. The same can be said for memory. All life constitutes an intelligence that holds memory beyond experience. Memory is not isolated within individuals. It is an accumulation of generations of memories that continues to evolve. You can say that memory and evolution go hand in hand, but most life forms do not understand the true nature of memories, which explains why most memories never cross paths. So what am I going to find by tracing back our roots? A presence that presides over all life and memories. The crystal. Crystal. Hmm. You're on your own now. Sidon, take care of Kuja. And protect the crystal. Farewell. Garland, wait! Garland! Even if I were created to serve one purpose alone, I do not regret being born to this world. Hmm. Well, there you go. And, ah, the crystal world. The music in here is a really freaky and cool remix of the Prelude theme, which I don't think we've even heard in this game, except maybe on the game over screen, but, yeah. Enough of my music nerding out. Is this the crystal that Garland was talking about? Not quite, Zaden. It's time for us to find out the truth. So a thing to note about this area, before we even get going, every single enemy in here is a crystal looking version of the four chaos bosses we've fought so far. They have, they're a little weaker, they have less HP, they're a little easier to defeat, Malaris still has her sword counter, so watch out for that. But they all give an absurd amount of AP, I think they give 7 AP each. So for a random battle, that's really insane. Um, I'm probably just going to ignore all of them, though, because I don't want to deal with fighting them, so... Just... just as a note. Uh, I guess I'll probably just leave these battles in so you see what we're up against. Just so you get a sense. Yeah, so here we have a crystal tie mat. All the same moves and stuff as a tie mat, except he's a crystal, and he has a little less HP, so... Again, though... Oh, whew. I'm just going to flee from these battles. We're at the point where I, I, I'm not sure if these guys give experience or not. I can't really remember. If they do, it's a decent amount. If they don't, well, they don't. I don't know. Whatever. We're at the point, though, where we can, one or two levels isn't going to make that much of a difference. So I'm just not even going to worry about it. This isn't the kind of game where one level is going to make a difference, that huge difference in a battle. This is the kind where you have to have, uh, like, five levels or seven levels to make an actual difference in a battle. So. And who do we have this time? Another Tiamat? Oh, a Malaris. A Crystal Malaris. I'm going to run away from you again. Oh, we didn't even have to use Flea this time. 
Yeah, as a note about Flea, when you use it, you'll always drop gill, and if you use it a whole bunch of times in a row, the gill, the amount of gill you drop will continue to increase. So, something to keep in mind. Oh man, this world is so twisty and turny! Whoa, trippy! We're like, coming towards the screen, but not, I don't know. The crystal world is so weird. It's also kind of short, so don't worry too much. Uh, I'm really going to try and blow through this place, though, because I think we can fit in one more boss battle. And that way we'll, we'll be able to end up right before, like, the final, final hurrah of the game. So, this might be a... Jeez. This might be a little bit longer of an episode, but... Um, flee. There we go. Psh. Now we have to waste time. At least Zidane is recovering some of his HP. There we go. Let's get out of here. Run away! Live to fight another day. Brave, brave, brave Sir Robin. That was off and wrong. I was trying to make a reference to Monty Python and the Holy Grail, but I can't remember the Brave Sir Robin song. Okay, so we have a save point here. But I'm not going to end the episode. Uh, well, to note, you can uh, do your normal Switch Party Members Tent Save. Teleport can bring you back to the beginning, I believe. Or it either or it might be able to bring you back to the Invincible. I, I, it, one of those things. I'm not going to worry about it now. But I'm going to probably edit this out. But I'm just going to use a tent and save right quick. And then I'll be back. Alright. So, some of you might have kind of guessed what this next boss is going to be. If you think about it, we fought all four of the Chaos Fiends that we fought when dealing with getting to Bran Ball and Terra and all that. But there's one one boss that we've encountered in that whole string of events that we haven't fought yet. And we're going to deal with him now. And I'm going to remove Magic Element and all from VV before I forget about this because it is wasting 13 of my ability thingies and doing absolutely nothing. So, let's give him auto haste. That's useful. Uh, let's see, and I guess loud mouth just in case. That should be good. Alright, let's go. Hmm? Kuja. Nice of you to come. I'm surprised you beat the four chaoses that I created from the crystal's memory. But, you're too late. Take a good look. Isn't it beautiful? It's the original crystal. This is where it all began. The birthplace of all things. Once I destroy it, everything will be gone. Gaia, Terra, the universe, everything. Your lives and memories too, of course. <laughs> Shut up. The only thing that's going to be gone is you. I'll take you out right now. <laughs> you honestly think you can beat me? Even if you do, Gaia's already doomed. Its assimilation by Terra has begun, and the Aoife tree will incite a cataclysmic destruction of Gaia. It's all over for you and your friends. See? I win either way. It doesn't matter. Even if Gaia is assimilated, the planet will remain and will start over to make a new home. Kuja, you're nothing but a coward. If you're gonna die, leave us out of it. Why should the world exist without me? That wouldn't be fair. If I die, we all die. Sidon, you will be my first sacrifice. Huh? Wait a second. Uh, okay. Whew. Man, for a second there, I thought we were getting to getting going to get into a battle with Kuja, and I was like, "Wait, we skipped a step." But no, we have to fight this dude again. Well, I suppose he's a different dude, but he kind of reminds me of the Tarhawk or whatever that weird dude was that we fought before the Four Fiends. So, anyways, standard. Standard stuff. Don't know what to tell ya. Uh, let's see. Aura. Let's get Aura up on someone important. Ooh, finally return magic is gonna be useful. Heck yeah. Uh, oh, this is yeah, this is a death guys. The weird bat thing. Uh, Dragon's Crest. Go. Oh man, Vivi's really low in health. And I think this guy has around 50,000 HP, something like that. He's not too hard to defeat. He has a lot of deadly spells and whatnot, but I, I never remembered him being that big of a deal. So, 
I actually didn't remember that whole speech that Kuja and Zaiden went through. Uh, I thought it was just going to go into a straight fight with this guy, so sorry about that. Oh, and Vivi died. Looks like I should have aura'd him first. Oh, well, time to revive. And there goes off the Dragon's Crest, and let's start going into thievery here. Rather than wasting our time with stealing. At this point, our thievery looks to be doing a consistent 99.99, so I'm not going to worry too much about stealing. There's not really much we can make use of anymore anyways, so, yeah, what's the point? And Dragon's Crest this guy. If, for whatever reason, you have a very weak Dragon's Crest with Freya, and you still want to use her, I'd honestly just go with Jump Attacks. Um, it's your ne next best bet. Um, I forget which item has it, but there is an item that will give Freya um, a high jump ability, which increases Jump's power to actually a pretty decent amount, so... Yeah, if you're jumping, make sure you have the high jump equipped on Freya, and you'll be good with that. Oh, let's see, let's heal. Or it's Aura Amaranth. And hopefully I won't kill this guy before I can make use of Vivi's trance, which would be kind of nice. Uh, I might put this off just to, just to try and use that. So we never get to use Vivi's trance ever. I should probably heal Vivi too. I forgot that he doesn't have auto regain on. Regan. Auto Regan. Um, let's hold off on Freya for now. Have Steiner go. Vivi should be up next. Don't. Uh, oh, shoo! Thought he was gonna kill Vivi there. That would have been truly tragic. All right, double black. Let's double flare this guy. That's the way to go. All right, Dragon's Crest, and on Amrit's next turn, ooh, an elixir. We'll uh, attack Vivi and heal him up. Alright, Thievery. Although we'll probably kill this guy before uh, we even have to worry about it. Yep, yeah, no. We didn't even get to use the double black. Well, that's lame. Kuja, how did they beat Death Guys? Oh, I guess that was him saying that. Do you really think you can beat me? Yeah, I think I can. Can we get another epic boss death? Alright. Oh, this is going to be a bit longer of an episode, isn't it? I should have just saved this for the next episode, but oh well. It is what it is. The next two bosses will probably be kind of long, so... And anyways, you can actually leave before fighting Kuja. You don't have to fight him right away. And you don't have to fight Death Guys again or something weird like that, so... Yeah, I'm going to heal up, and then we'll take on the final boss of the game. Man, thanks you guys for watching and join me next time for the exciting conclusion. See you then.